I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. And in this video, we're going to share the 10 most surprising things about visiting France. Our bucket list goal is to get to 100 countries before we die. After being stuck in Nicaragua for most of 2020 and 2021 due to the COVID pandemic, we were finally able to get back on track and see the world. We recently spent six wonderful weeks travelling by train up the coast of France from Andorra to Italy. We stopped at many towns and cities along the way and visited most of the major attractions in southern France. We loved the picturesque towns, learning about France's rich history and sampling the amazing food that the country is so renowned for. Six weeks in France was not nearly enough. You could easily spend years travelling around the country and still find new things to discover and also be surprised by. Now here are our top 10 most surprising things about visiting France. One thing about visiting France that we found really surprising is that restaurants and shops all close on a Sunday. You might have a few museums that are open and supermarkets tend to be open till about 12.30pm in the afternoon but everything else is going to be pretty closed. So when you're visiting France, just make sure you keep that in mind. So another curious thing that we found about opening times with stores during the week is that a lot of stores close between 1 and 3 p.m. And that includes museums, it includes specialty stores like boulangeries or bakeries. Just be mindful of that when you're planning your trip as well. But one of the good things about sightseeing on a Sunday is that for the museums that are open, they typically tend to be free on Sundays. If you like the convenience of a hotel but want a bit more space and some extra home comforts, then look no further than France's Apart Hotels. Apart Hotels are a really convenient accommodation option when travelling through France. They have fully furnished apartments with all your utilities and high-speed internet set up and ready to go. You can rent them out for the night or for a longer period of time and discounts may be available for longer stays. Some Apart Hotels have 24-hour concierge available and a regular cleaning service may be included in your room rate. One feature that we were particularly impressed with were the heated towel racks. You can often find heated towel racks in bathrooms in France. Being full-time travellers, we often wash our clothes in the bathroom sink and hope that it dries the next day. We found heated towel racks are by far the most efficient way to dry our clothes on the go. After experiencing the luxury of heated towel racks, it's going to be hard to live without them. What we've found really amazing about France is the wide variety of quality and quantity boulangeries and patisseries all around the country. There really does seem to be a wonderful patisserie or boulangerie on pretty much every single block that you go to. And the quality is so amazing. The prices are really cheap for what you get and it's just an amazing experience. One surprising thing about France is how fancy their supermarkets are. So we got this from Lidl, which is one of the major supermarkets in France. And this is duck foie gras macaron. So we got 12 for 3 euro, which seems like pretty good value considering how fancy this looks. These look absolutely delightful. And they were in the freezer section, so we needed to defrost them to room temperature first. And they're perfect little macarons. I've never heard of a savoury macaron before. Yeah, it's really interesting seeing it with the foie gras in it. Yeah, so the macaron itself is sweet. That taste of the foie gras it works quite well with it. I'm really surprised. I wasn't sure how this would turn out, but it's quite a luxurious treat. If you're not familiar with what foie gras is, foie gras is liver. So this is duck liver pâté and it's delicious. This is one of the must-have foods in France foie gras. It's very popular throughout the country. You can buy them at markets and supermarkets and have them in restaurants as well. Yeah, it's really delicious and having it in a macaron is quite a nice little twist on the foie gras experience. So I'm currently sitting on the beach in Nice, France, eating my duck foie gras macarons and feeling very fancy. Bon appétit! One of the great things that we found about visiting France is the availability of bikes everywhere. 
France is really bike friendly. There are bike paths in pretty much every city we've been to and you can even get free bike hire uh, in some cities as well for half an hour. So that's pretty awesome. It's great that it promotes a really healthy lifestyle. Coming from Australia, we're no strangers to protests being our democratic right. However, the French take it to the next level. We were surprised at how often there were protests over different issues all throughout the country, from teachers' salaries to vaccine mandates and cleaner strikes. You will find protests nearly everywhere. What we've observed is that the French are very civic-minded with a long history of democratic ideals that they continue to uphold vigorously. After all, France's national motto is liberty, equality, fraternity. As a traveller, there's nothing to worry about as the vast majority of these protests are peaceful and shouldn't impact your visit. One thing we find quite unique about France is that you can find condom vending machines everywhere. So you don't have to go into a pharmacy, you don't have to go into a supermarket, you can just get it at your convenience in the street. In our home country of Australia, pedestrian crossings with white stripes indicate places in the road where the pedestrian has right of way. Not so in France. Make sure that cars actually are going to stop for you, otherwise you run the risk of being run over. Some pedestrian crossings also come with pedestrian traffic lights to tell you when you should cross. However, at other times, it seems like you only have a 50-50 chance of a motorist actually stopping for you when you cross. One thing to just keep in mind when you're coming to France is that French dog owners are not the most meticulous with cleaning up after their dog. So you do find a lot of dog poo on the street. Be sure to watch where you're walking when you're walking through France so that you don't end up stepping in dog poo. One thing we found really surprising about France is the abundance of wattle here. So wattle trees are actually the national tree of Australia. They've got these beautiful little yellow flowers and they're quite fuzzy little balls with beautiful green leaves as well. So they're a very distinctive tree yeah. and it's really hard to miss them once you do see them. But I have never seen this much wattle in my life. Now we've read up on this and wattle is actually very popular in the Mediterranean region. It must have been imported here at some point and it's really taken off because you can see them in florists, you can see them in marketplaces for sale, and you can see them all around the French Riviera. It's really beautiful seeing the pops of colour all along the train ride that we took to get here to Nice in France, and it's great to be able to see a touch of Australia here in France. We hope you enjoyed our video about the top 10 surprises of visiting France. What else surprises you about France? Let us know in the comments below. If you want more fun and informative travel videos from around the world, then don't forget to subscribe. We are Bucket List Travellers. See you next time.